Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. It's cold and it's rainy outside, so I'm going to cook some beef short ribs in the crock pot. So let's get crocking. All right, I've already put six cups of water in there, and um, I'm putting in three beef bouillon cubes. I put two in already. You add one cube per two cups of water. So I'll just kind of crumble these in there. There we go. You find these in the Hispanic section, these particular ones. Also, I'm going to add one tablespoon of onion powder and one half teaspoon of garlic powder and mix that up. Now I'm going to put potatoes. I'm going to try cooking my potatoes whole. So I'm going to put four russet potatoes in the bottom. We'll see how that works out. And then I'm going to put in a pound of baby carrots. Alright, and um, here's my short ribs. I just, all I did was season these with some kosher salt and that's it. But you can season them up more if you like. Alright, I'm going to cook this on high. So I'm guessing it'll probably be at least five hours. Probably twice that on low. So um, we'll be back later on. Okay, this has been cooking for about four and a half hours. So let's take a look here. Carrots are tender. Potatoes are tender. See the meat? Yeah, the meat looks pretty tender as well. So I think what I'm going to do is pull the meat out. And um, I'm going to brush a little bit of barbecue sauce onto it and stick it in my toaster oven for a few minutes. You don't have to do that, but I think it might just give it a little bit more flavor. I set my oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll just put these in there for a few minutes until the sauce kind of cooks onto them a little bit. It's been seven or eight minutes, so let's take a look at these. That looks pretty good now. There's how it looks on a plate. You could just put that broth all over everything, but since I put sauce on my rib, I decided to put some sour cream on my tater. So, uh, let me try this rib and see how it is here. We'll just use our fingers since it's a rib. Pick it up with our hands. This is good, nice and tender. And you know, adding that sauce really added a lot of extra flavor. It's good that way. Worth the extra few minutes if you ask me. Hope you guys will give this one a try. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.